So yeah, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody's well. Take care of yourselves. Great night, great day, wherever you are. So yeah, there is something that I was watching. And I literally had to come out here and do a video about it. I had to. I had to. it Because if I'm being honest, I am literally almost in shock. I am literally almost in shock over what I just watched, what I have just witnessed. And if you want to really know what I've just witnessed and what I have just seen, I have went my whole life not really knowing this. <laughs> I went my whole life not really knowing this. I will leave a link down in the description so you can click on the video if you're someone that you listen to this kind of music or you listen to hip hop, I'll leave a link so that you can watch the video to see what I mean, to see how to me it is just copy paste theft. That's what most sampling is. I don't have a problem with sampling, but when you take a whole entire melody from an artist or a creator that made that melody, that made that drum rhythm, and then you take the entire thing and you copy and paste it and you sample it and then you change the hi-hats, you change the lead sound, and then you call it your own and you win Grammys and stuff for it. I mean, I just, there's something wrong there. To me, there's something wrong. And I'm not saying... Who I'm talking about in this video specifically, and I know a lot of people are going to not like this because I am not some famous guy. I'm not some famous musician, at least not yet I ain't. But, you know, people will look at me a certain way because I'm talking about someone that is famous and that blew up in the music realm, but the reasons that they blew up is because they took the works of other people. And those people that made those works never got the credit for the works that they made. The good music that these so-called, quote, producers and beat makers and stuff that they call themselves, they call themselves producers. They call themselves terms like like that like producer that's not a producer a producer is someone who who buys a synthesizer a drum machine and buys fruity loops or something and you literally you touch the keyboard you go through preset sounds and you pick sounds and you shape and mold those sounds and you record those sounds into sequences it is from scratch creating and to me there literally is no other way to be a producer than that is to make things from scratch to make things from the beginning from the ground up and who I'm talking about in this video, I mean, it's just really crazy that I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say this. I like Dr. Dre. You, you, don't get me wrong. The, the beats that he had, yeah, they were good beats. They, they were amazing beats. But the thing that I'm saying is Dr. Dre, a lot of the people that were our favorite artists we don't even realize that they are literal copy and paste thieves. You know, Dr. Dre, Timbaland did this with a lot of beats. Kanye West does this with most of his instrumentals that he calls his instrumentals. You know, they take the whole melody of another song or the whole drum rhythm of another song and they sample it and then they start pressing a button 
and they put it in a sequence and they they change the hi hats or they change the lead sound and they or they change something or they use most of those elements and then they throw a little bit of something of their own onto it and then they call it their own and they call themselves producers these guys are not producers they are not producers they are literally they are sampling artists that sample other people's music and then they they switch it up a little bit and they chop samples up and i'm sorry i'm just not it, it it's just to me it's not right to take other people's melodies and to take somebody else's loop that they created and to take the whole entire thing or the whole entire creation and literally play the like they'll play the whole melody the whole bass the whole drum rhythm and put it into something and they'll switch it up a little bit or they'll put different sounds to it and then they'll say that they made it like it's just unbelievable like i'm kind of i'm still in shock because if i'm being honest i have lost respect for the people that used to be my quote favorite artists or favorite musicians or favorite producers i don't even have respect for these guys anymore because it, it and it's it's crazy how when they speak about when they made these things they will never tell you that they will never tell you what the quote secret sauce is of the productions because all they did was take another production and take from that and there's something that there's this guy this drummer i i don't know who he is he's a dark skinned guy i can't remember his name but he said that you don't make beats you take beats and this is the case today i'm sorry like love me or hate me i don't really care because this is just be me being honest like i would tell people stop sampling other people's music because the thing that makes me upset is the people that that actually take the time and the energy and they put their literal soul into recording these great pieces of art and these great pieces of music and these melodies that they sit there and they will take a lot of time for it to come to them and to produce it and they never got recognition for their works. They they still don't. They still don't. And then these guys, they put their name to it and say, I produced this. I'm a producer. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not a producer. You are a mimicker. You are a copy-paste thief you are someone that you don't make the beats you take the beats and then call them your own and this is just crazy the more the time goes on i'm telling you people like charles bukowski these people that were saying these things so long ago they were absolutely right what they were saying and and what i'm saying is I don't know why people don't want to make their own stuff. It doesn't make sense to me. Like creating from a blank canvas is something that should, you know, and I'm not saying that everybody is a producer. I'm not saying that everybody's a musician, but you, the blank canvas should excite you because it's there for you to put yourself into. It's there for you to express yourself and to create your own sounds and to make your own melodies and to make your own drum rhythms. And this is for anybody out there that's into music. I'm not saying that everybody makes music, but if you're someone that makes music like me, I was just like, what the fuck? Seriously, like I'm still just in disbelief and I know people go, well, what's the big deal? You know, what is the big deal? Why are you even doing a video like this? Because like I said, there's a lot of things that kind of upset me that does upset me. It, it gets to, it kind of makes my blood boil if I'm being honest, because 
the people that make these things, their name is not mentioned at all. And then when people ask them on YouTube or social media, you know, how did you come up with this? They're lying. They're literally lying about what they did. They, they don't even say, oh, yeah, I sampled it from this thing and I took the whole melody, the whole drum rhythm, and I, you know, I sampled it onto the MPC and I chopped it up and did whatever. And they don't even chop it up most of the time. Like I said, it's just, it is the literal, like something from 1974 that some person named Yana Mono made or something and they take that. Yo, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Like, and and maybe this is this is just how I feel about it, but I'm someone I always make things from the ground up. I make my stuff from scratch. And look, I'm not even gonna be a hypocrite on here. I haven't been putting out my stuff. I haven't been, I have not been putting out content because I haven't been recording myself doing what I do. I do it in my spare time and stuff. And it's like, I'm to the point where I have to literally start putting stuff out. I have to, because I see the state of music right now. And I see the state of how everybody is just using loops and everybody is copying and pasting like this is becoming a literal copy paste generation it's becoming an oh i'll get ai to do it for me i'll go on you know wherever these things are i don't know because i don't use them myself i like i said i make everything from complete scratch and i use clap samples i use hi hat samples i use sounds and synthesizers and orchestral sounds and stuff like that i don't sample other people's music though is what i'm saying i don't take anybody else's creation and then use the whole thing you know okay if you're if someone's chopping up a part of somebody else's thing like a a drum kick or a sound like hey or ooh. Ooh, and you're like using that. Okay, you took a piece of that creation and put it into something like an NPC and you did what you did from there. But if you take something like ooh, ah, ooh, oh, and you take that whole thing and you take the and you take that whole thing and you copy and you sample it into your whatever thing you're using mostly the mpc what people use and you take that whole thing and listen i am making this video for people to be mad at me I am making this video for people to to get upset. I am doing this video to stir people up because the the state of music right now to me, I don't even listen to any new music if I'm being honest. I don't li- I don't even listen to music. I don't have to listen to music because it's either all sampled, it all sounds the same. It it's it's there's nobody that everybody uses quantize you know, nobody puts their own feel to it, their own creativity, their own tempo, their own style and the way that they go about doing it. And I don't even believe, I'm someone, I don't even believe in styles. I don't believe in ways of doing things. I don't believe in stru- like structure or a strategy, not structure. I don't believe in a strategy. I believe that music is something, it, music is expression. It is a person expressing themselves. It is a person that takes the time to sit there and when a feeling comes up or something comes along, you go, okay, I'm going to turn this keyboard on or I'm going to get on my DAW or I'm going to get on my drum synth machine, my synth drum machine, or I'm going to get on my keyboard workstation and I'm going to touch the buttons and I'm going to record something. Okay. If you quantize, whatever, 
I don't care if people quantize. It's just let's start putting our own lives and our own expressions into our craft and into our art and let's stop stealing other people's stuff because it it just and this is what it's like everybody is into the sampling game there is no there's hardly anybody out here that is literally making their own music anymore and I'm talking about making our own music like, and I don't even know, maybe Thriller. I was going to say like Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson. I don't even know. Thriller could be a sampled beat. I don't know. That could be sampled from something. Because almost all these songs that we love, that we really like, most of them are sampled from other songs. And it's like, you know, you got to let the original song be the original song. When someone, like I said, the thing I don't like is when someone takes a whole melody, a whole drum rhythm, a whole bass line, a whole work, and will just copy and paste it and press a couple buttons, press record start, make it a four or eight measure pattern or sequence and they'll literally record that in there and then they'll take out a hi-hat or a lead and then they'll put in the same the same interpretation but a different sound. They'll put in the same exact interpretation of the lead or the instrument or the violin or the bells, but they'll put a different sound. They'll replace the sound and then they'll literally put their name to it and say, I made this and they'll take credit for it. And I, I don't know how this can even be. I don't even know how musicians, quote, producers are even getting these things cleared from people because you're literally taking the whole work. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. And I'm I just will never see most of these guys that I used to almost worship, like, look at, like, wow, they made these. They did this. They did this on an NPC. They did this on a keyboard. Like, I think the only people that actually make beats from scratch but I think they sample sometimes. The only guys that make beats from scratch is, I think, Pharrell, Swiss Beats, and Scott Storch. And, you know, Trent Reznor, guys like that. But listen, Scott Storch is the guy that I have the most respect for out of all the producers because he's a real producer. He's not just some guy that's, taking samples and then saying, I made this. No, Scott Storch is a producer. He is the producer. And that's who I want to at least somewhat resemble, even though I'm not him and I'm not never going to be him. I don't want to resemble him. I don't want to sound like him, but I respect him because he makes everything from scratch. He makes the melodies. He makes the drum rhythms. He does everything off of keyboards and drum machines and a DAW. I don't know if he how much he uses a DAW, but you know, Swiss Beats, I believe that he makes, I'm pretty sure he makes most of his stuff from scratch, but he samples stuff. You know, if you listen to Jurassic Harlem, he took that from the Jurassic Park in, you know, movie and, and Timbaland, all these guys, Kanye West, Dr. Dre, Timbaland. Look, this is not me taking a shot at these guys. It is just, I look at them different now because I've kind of, it's like I've been played. You know, I thought that they made most of these and I knew they didn't make everything. I knew that they sampled other people's music but I did not know the extent of it. I didn't know that it was this bad. I really didn't. That's why I'm so, I'm such in shock. And it's, it's almost unbelievable. Someone like me that actually, 
you know, puts all of my time, energy, and everything into my craft, and I do everything from scratch. I do everything from the ground up because I think the blank canvas literally is a reflection of the person. A blank canvas is where you are going to be what you are. You're going to put your full self into the blank page, into the blank sequence, into the blank pattern, into the blank white paper to draw your picture, to write your paragraph, to write your sentence, to, to you know, touch the keyboard yourself and to record that into a project. And, I, you know, I seen another video that said something like Dr. Dre's 1992 hip hop album. Yeah, it was a great album. It was a great album. There, there are songs on there that I reminisce on and I'm like, that's really great. But he said something like 1992 Dr. Dre's hip hop album. And I'm not hating on these guys. I'm just being truthfully honest. 1992 hip hop album changed hip hop forever. Yeah, it changed hip hop because he took things that were created years ago that sounded really phenomenal. And, and that's what you heard. You heard other people's art. You heard other beings, you heard other sentient creatures, creations that the source, God, the universe, the, the high, the consciousness of all of this did like, we, I don't think we do anything. I think this all comes from the source itself that whatever made this universe or whatever, put this all into action or whatever this is, whatever it is. I don't know what all this is, but I think it all comes from that. I don't think that Michael Jackson, anybody, nobody, Scott Storch, me, anybody could do any of these things if it didn't come from that. That's what I really think. That's what I, I think. I don't know for sure, but that's what I think. You know, everybody gives themselves the, the credit for what they create, but I say, this ain't coming from me, man. This is coming from something else that's just how i see it now i know it sounds superstitious i know it seems like i'm saying i believe in god i believe in this i believe in that no i'm just saying that's how it really seems it seems like this is this is like designed to be that way you know how 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 does someone come up with all this stuff you know how does someone make all these things to me it's just too unbelievable to think that that oh it came from my human brain it came from this flesh you know like to me there's something else to it but i'm not getting into that right now but anyway i'm going to end this because my hands are freezing cold but yeah i do not see i just don't see anything now that i know how it was made and what's behind it and how these guys, they don't even tell you that they sampled things. They'll say it sometimes, but they will not say that they sampled the whole thing and did an instrumental with it. They don't even really talk about that because they know if you know that. Now, see, most people don't give a rat's ass about what I'm saying. They could care less. They just they'll think that I'm a hater They'll think that I'm doing this to, you know, hate on them or to spite them or because I'm jealous of them and this and that. Yeah, I I was jealous of them because I loved what they did and I wanted to do similar things back then and even up till this day. But now that I know that these things were literally taken from something else and then they called it their own, you can't do that. That's not honest. That is not legit to me. That is not naturally real. That's not authentic or genuine. You see what I'm saying? It's like a it's like it's like someone building this swing set that I'm sitting on and then I put my name on it and say I built this swing set that I'm sitting on and I get all the credit for it and I get all the proceedings and all the income that comes from it. You know, I, I don't know, man. I, I just see it differently. 
And I'm not saying, I am in no way saying that I am not ever going to sample anything. I'm not saying that I will not sample somebody's voice or someone saying something or a, a, a piece of something, but I will never, ever take a whole piece of a melody or a drum rhythm or something like that. I just am a person that I can't do that because it feels like I'm stealing from somebody. It feels like I'm trying to put my name where it doesn't belong. Like I didn't do that. So I'm not going to say someone else makes a product and then I put my name on it and say I made this product. It's copyright infringement. It's stealing. It's And I know we get a lot of our ideas and a lot of the things we do, you know, I'd even say something like, you know, get like me, you know, yes, we learn from other people, but when it comes to making it our own, this is where people have this huge disconnect. You know, they're, it's almost like they're afraid. They're scared to make something that is their own. It's like they, they're scared of the feedback or what other people are going to think if they create their own art or their own music or their own writing or their own craft, whatever it is. And I think that is, I know that is the only way to be the artist, to be the genuine person, to be the thing, to be the authentic thing. That's, that's just how I think for myself. I'm not saying that everybody's going to agree with me because I know how the world is when you're someone that is not known or you're someone that's not famous or someone's going to be like, well, who are you to say this? Like, what makes you think that you're better or your music probably sucks? Well, guess what? I haven't even put out, I haven't put out 1% of my music yet. I, I just put out little snit bits that I was messing around with. My good stuff, I didn't even put out on the internet yet. And I'm still making stuff. So it, it's almost like because I just don't, yes, I have instrumentals, but I really don't see too many artists that I would like to collaborate with, that I would like to have be on one of my things. But as long as they're writing their own lyrics, as long as they are the ones that are making what they make, then yes, in the future, I will do something like that. I will give someone something to do something with, but I don't know. I just see it differently. I'm different. I just, I like original work. I like, like, like I said, I like someone like Scott Storch. Michael Jackson, you know, people that literally, they will take a risk. They will not give a shit what the rest of the world thinks about what they're doing and do what they do, express themselves, not say, oh, I got to go get this other piece of work that someone else made and say, oh, look at me. I, you know, look, I made this. No, but you really didn't make it. You know, you don't make beats. You take beats and stop taking beats. Make beats. You know, stop sampling other people's stuff. Make your own stuff. Pick your own sounds. Pick your own drums. Put them in a sequence. So what if you think that you suck? When I first started doing this, I mean, I'm not saying that I completely sucked, but the patterns that I was making, it was just simply like, and then I would put some corny bass line or Mario sound in there when I, you know, had drum machines that didn't sound great because I didn't have good sounds at that time. If I would have started off with a chord triton or an MPC or a Roland JDXI like I have now, things would have probably been completely different in my life. If I would have had what these guys that call themselves producers had, if I would have had that stuff, 
I don't even know if I'd be sitting on this chair right now talking like this. I really don't because who knows what it would have been. But I mean, I still got time. You know, I'm still going to do what I do. And this is actually the reason I did this is because I'm actually making an affirmation. I'm actually speaking what I am going to manifest. I am going to literally change how music is made. That is what I'm going to do. Mark, remember what, remember what I said. Mark my words because I just, I just can't get with how the way that things are today. It's like I have to do something about it. I have to literally showcase what it is that I know as a person. All the years of my life, all the experiences that I had with music and listening to every single, quote, genre. I didn't judge anything. I listened to it all. I liked it all. Even the corny stuff. Even the polka music. Even the stuff that I thought was horrible. I still, I might have mocked and made fun of. But I actually liked it. Even the cheesy stuff. Even the I'm blue, na ba dee, na boo die. You know, even the I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's fantastic. Made in plastic. You can comb my hair. Undress me anywhere. Imagination. Eating expectation. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. I liked it all. I liked it all, and I still do like it all, but today, how the music is, it, it's, social media has turned us into almost like replicas, like imitations, like mimics of one another, and it's, you know, music is meant to give people a feeling, it is meant to when you're by yourself listening to it, it's meant to give you a feeling to work out or to draw or to create or to sit and relax or when you're around people, have a good time, have a couple drinks, et cetera, et cetera. Music is not made to really boast in the music. It's not made to say, hey, look at how great I am at making music. Look at this beat that I made that I took from somebody and called it my own. It's not made for that, man. It's like I said, man, everybody, what I suggest, what I would suggest as a person and as a, an artist, a writer, a musician, an entrepreneur, everything, because I see myself as all, all these things, a designer, everything. Even, even uh, fashion, I'm even into fashion. I'm into all the arts except for probably sculpting. I'm not really into sculpting and I'm not really into like plays and theater stuff. I, I would like to act. I would really like to act, but stuff like that, that's just the ones that I'm not really into, but I would do them if I could, you know, if I was in that predicament, I would do them, but you know, the way that I see it, man, I don't know. I just see it differently. You know, I like originality. I like when someone is so brutally honest with themselves that the world might not like it. The world might hate it. The world might disagree. But they were honest with themselves at the end of the day. And they put everything that they were into what they were doing on the blank canvas. Because that's what is unique. That's what is real. That's what is authentic. That is something that I resonate with. And, you know, I know when we listen to music, like I said, I'm, I don't want to call it mimicry or replica, but it's social media has done this weird thing where it's not like back in the day. You know, it's just not the same thing. And I would say before the video ends, I got about two minutes. I would say to everyone out there, if you want to understand or be more original or be honest with yourself or to 
have an understanding of the world of all art, all music, everything, I would say go back and watch older documentaries on hip hop, country music, R&B, EDM, lo-fi music, dance music, trance music, cinematic music, movie music, John Carpenter's music. Go and watch old stuff. Go and watch stuff from whenever, from the 1900s up. You know, even watch stuff later on, earlier from that. Go and li- and watch history. Go and look at everything you possibly can. But don't copy anybody. See, they say there's something that Picasso said. I don't agree with this shit. You know, great artists do something and, and awesome great artists steal. You know, I, I, I don't know. Good artists copy and great artists steal. I don't believe that. I don't go for that. I know that you must find it within yourself to be the most honest version of yourself. When you feel something, you're doing that thing. It doesn't matter how much you contradict what you're doing because a real individual contradicts themselves because they're going by a feeling. That's what art and expression and music is all about. You're going by the moment. You're doing what you're feeling in that second. And it doesn't matter what people think. You're just expression, expressing yourself. Art is expression. But see, this is the thing with most people is they don't know how to simply express themselves because they think, oh, it's going to suck or they're not going to like it or it's not going to live up to the standard of popular music or I'm not going to get a million people to like my video or I don't have the uh, equipment to do it and on and on and on. And it's like that is just an excuse. That's a straight excuse. Anybody can be an artist, but not everybody can be honest with themselves. You see what I'm saying? Everybody, it's so easy to just call yourself a producer or something like that. But it's hard to be honest, but it's not really hard to be honest. Be honest. Be authentic. All right, y'all. Natan.